testing. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm a guinea pig, in other words, yes. right? <laughs> okay. Gee, you know, I kind of wonder what age I'll turn out to be. I think I'll pretty much at the age where I really am. I'm 58. I'll find out my biological age when the results come through. Mm-hmm. You work out, don't you? So, this is it, the moment of truth. This is when I get to find out how old I am on the inside. Here we have the different parts of the body and the biological age listed. Wow. My actual age is 58, and they think I'm 50, which is good, which is great. But what is really strange is that they think different parts of my body have wildly different ages. In terms of hand grip, in terms of strength, well, it says here, very embarrassingly enough, 72 years of age. Skin elasticity, ah, yes, now we're talking about beauty, 25 years of age. Well, I think this is pretty bizarre. Uh, My left hand and my right hand are off by 30 years in terms of age. So how can that be? Not only is there no program for aging, but it doesn't even happen in a regular way over time. What's become obvious to me is that if we really want to get a handle on the aging process, we have to get down inside of us, down to the microscopic level. And there's a clue deep within a seemingly unlikely source. Because scientists have, until recently, been mystified about how one class of animals manages to live so long. The birds. These are uh, black-headed cakes, and they're very mysterious. As you can see, given time, they will let themselves out. Oh, look at that. For many animals, if you are small, you live fast and die young, but not birds. For their size, they can live a heck of a long time. And how old are they? These are three years old. Mm -hmm. Um, They live usually between sort of 28 and 30 years. Mm -hmm. That's 10 times longer than a mouse, even though it's about the same size. Amazing. But the granddaddy of this aviary is Louis, an African grey. He's 71 years of age, a bit crotchety now and then, but still going strong. He's outlived three owners. And the latest theory about what's keeping him alive is that, like all birds, his cells have one component that is incredibly efficient. They are the mitochondria. All animal cells have them, miniature power stations that pump out energy night and day. That energy is vital to life, but unfortunately, dangerous particles leak out of the mitochondria. These are the so-called free radicals that many anti-aging diets talk about. And it's these that damage the cells. They crash into vital DNA, corrupting the instructions that tell the cells how to operate. The very information the cell needs to continue working properly. And recent research suggests that birds leak at least 10 times fewer free radicals than mice. So they age about 10 times slower. So what about us? 
On one hand, we too generate free radicals that create genetic damage, but we have a fantastic defense mechanism, much better than that of the mouse, even better than the birds. But the trouble is, even that's not enough. Not all the free radicals are soaked up, not all the rubbish is cleared away, not all the damaged genes are repaired. So we age. It's as simple as that. So finally, we understand exactly why we age. Even though we're not programmed to age, it seems that time will always get us in the end. At least, that's what we always thought. Until now. The thing that would give us some prospect of escaping the prison of time would be an animal that isn't ruled by the clock. And marine biologists off the coast of California think they may have found one. The animal that we're looking for lives on the sea bottom. They move with feet. They also have spines. Dr. Tom Ebert has spent his whole career studying the lifespan of sea urchins. Initially, he thought they lived maybe six or seven years. But finally turned this upside down with the sea urchin's reaction to a cataclysmic event. The fallout from Pacific Ocean nuclear testing after World War II left its effects in the skeletons of animals that were living at the time. They discovered traces of that radioactivity in the jaws of adult sea urchins still alive now. Yet, that bomb went off 50 years ago. The animal has to be much, much older than 50 years. From this radioactive benchmark deposited in the 1940s, they can trace them all the way back to their birth. And that caused another shock. The individual that was analyzed was clearly well over 100 and probably closer to 150 years. That, that, was, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, I was, I was surprised. I didn't think that that was going to be the case. Now, it's even, it's even better than that because they appear to be leading a very vibrant life way into old age without any indication of aging at all. Incredible. Here's an animal that appears to have cracked the aging process. It lives outside time. At the moment, no one knows how the sea urchin does it, but at least we now know it's possible, and the key must lie in its genes. So it seems that the secret to holding back time might be closer to discovery than we thought. Throughout history, we have sought the elixir of life in exotic elements with supposedly magical powers. But the very latest science is showing that the secret of controlling how we age might be inside us. The key is the mass of genetic data that is now being discovered. Here we are. We're at the Buck Institute for Age Research, north of San Francisco. This is where the action is taking place. A hundred top scientists focusing in on one question. Can we tease apart the molecular and genetic basis of the aging process? <laughs> 